What's up guys, how's it going? My name is Mike the Tech, and welcome to another of my YouTube tutorials. So, this is just going to be a remake of a video I've done once before, and it is how to install VirtualBox on Windows, and specifically Windows 10, and specifically VirtualBox 6 point something. Let's check that out. So let's go to virtualbox.org, and 6.1. So um, what you're going to do is go to virtualbox.org and you'll see a menu system on the left but they also have a really big button um, to download it and it might seem like it's one of those ads but it's actually their, their button that they have here. Uh, you're going to click on that or you can click on the downloads button on the left side as well and it will take you to their um, very similar um, uh, download page. Uh, I'm trying to think of the the word very nostalgic it's kind of it's never really changed but um yeah so this is the virtual box uh, binaries page where you download the executable files or the installer files uh so you're going to go in here and download the one that you need most likely either windows or mac os which is uh, notated here as os x uh, if you have linux you can also use linux and if you're running servers or something or for some reason use solaris not to throw shade on Solaris, but it's pretty rare to see a Solaris system out nowadays unless you're running servers. But yeah, just choose whichever host you happen to be using. Uh, I'm going to click on Windows and hit download. Once it finishes downloading, you're just going to click on the file to actually run the executable. And here is the um, Oracle VM VirtualBox installer. We're just going to hit next to uh, agree. We're going to go to. Um, actually, I'm going to un uninstall this real quick and uh, uninstall it fresh just because I had just done this video before, but my computer actually blue screened when I uh, was recording. So. Uh, <laughs> I lost that recording. I, I still have it, but my voice came out really weird. It was like super deep and it wasn't the whole video. So it, it was just easier to re-record it. So I'm going to uninstall it real quick. And then I'm going to run through that one more time. So we download the Windows host. I know I've already downloaded it once. Um, I'll delete them after. Uh, go ahead and run it after it finishes downloading. And we're at the installer. We're going to go ahead and hit next. And this is one area that you might have to make changes depending on what you want to use VirtualBox for. If you're using this to actually use a second operating system, um, either Windows like 7 or XP or Mac OS or Linux or something like that. Sorry, Steam popped up. Uh, Linux or, or if you're actually just wanting to use a virtual machine, definitely leave these installed. If, however, you want to install viruses and things like that, you may want to consider turning off things like bridge networking or shared USB support. You can turn these off in the settings later, but it's probably a good idea to turn them off here just because if you're dealing with a virus, it might be complex enough to figure out how to jump across operating systems. Like if you're sharing a clipboard, then who's to say it can't jump over to your clipboard or if you're sharing a drive it could infect your main computer from the drive so just be wary of that um, if you're using it normally though leave these all installed you should be fine go ahead and hit next and you'll be able to choose if you want to create start menu icons um, desktop icons you might not want a desktop icon and then register file associations will let you actually um, open up other virtual machines in the future so you may want to keep that checked so that's it next and hit yes and install and you may come up with a um, user account control error uh, well not an error a security pop-up uh, just going to allow that to make changes to your computer and it has to install some as I mentioned inter networking inter interfaces and USB interfaces and things like that that require root privileges but our installation is now finished let's go ahead and hit finish And VirtualBox is now open. So uh, that's how you install VirtualBox. In uh, the next few videos I make, I will be releasing uh, how to and how to install Windows 10, uh, maybe Windows 8, Windows 7, Linux, like Ubuntu Linux, maybe Red Hat or something, um, Edge Ubuntu, Educational Ubuntu, and maybe I'll even do a video on Mac OS. Uh, I've done that a couple times before and installed 
uh, Mac OS and a virtual machine on Windows, so that was pretty fun. Uh, but yeah, let me know if this video helped you out. Thank you so much for watching. Leave your questions in the comment section below, and I'll try to answer as many as I can. Um, unfortunately, I can't answer everyone. I am trying to answer all the comments that um, I'm able to, like when I'm on the go and when I'm on my phone and stuff like that. I'll jump on and answer a bunch of questions. But if you guys are like having a, a, a large amount of, of uh, steps that you're like I need help troubleshooting this item and it's gonna go with a back and forth and everything um, it does take me a little longer to get to those because I actually have to do some research and figure it out and sometimes I can't figure it out without more information so um, I'll do my best to to answer those comments but just know that if if you simplify it a little bit more and do a little bit more research first you'll probably get a, an answer from me a little quicker uh, so we can do that work together. All right. Uh, thank you so much for watching. And let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. Have a great day. Peace.